Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a little fun doing a foundation review. I picked up the new Sicily Fito Tint Perfection and this is the newest foundation in the Sicily lineup. I'm happy to report that this comes in 29 different shades, so they have definitely been expanding their shade range. There should be a little something for everyone. This also is going to be a more medium to high coverage foundation. It is said to be super long wear, as well as providing you with a luminous matte finish. So I am somebody who has more dry, mature skin. I don't normally gravitate towards matte foundations, but I am a fan of Sisley foundations. I also was getting some requests to please review this on camera. So I did go ahead and pick this up. This is a $125 foundation. So I'm hoping this review will help some of you decide whether you want to invest in this or pass. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about the new Sicily Fito Tint Perfection, I'm going to be giving you a thorough review on this foundation as well as a few check-ins throughout the day. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we are going to be doing a full review of the new, this is the Sicily Fito Tint Perfection, and I picked this up in the shade 2C Soft Beige. This does now come in 29 shades, so I feel like Sisley is expanding their shade range, so that is good news. And here is what the bottle looks like. It is a really nice glass frosted bottle here. This is a pricey foundation. It is a $125 dollars and this is a luminous matte foundation that is supposed to be super long lasting as well as transfer proof. Now I have been playing with this foundation for about a week and I have some thoughts on it but I want to share the claims with you first and then I'll tell you at the end if they live up to the claims or not. And this what? is described as skincare and makeup in one. Already love that. This is supposed to provide high coverage as well as a mattifying finish but it is described as a luminous matte. So it's sort of that hybrid matte that has been launching in many different foundation categories, not a flat matte. This is said to include their ideal skin complex that's going to improve the look of skin quality with each application. This cutting edge complex is going to deliver impressive results combining three essential actions for all skin types. It's going to hydrate your skin immediately and intensely. It's going to smooth the skin texture as well as illuminate the complexion. The Fido Tint Perfection Foundation is going to give you a naturally radiant matte finish. It is ultra long lasting, transfer proof, and the formula has an undetectable texture for flaws skin and all day comfort. The foundation is said to have medium to high buildable coverage with no cakey effect. It's going to blur imperfections, minimize pores, and basically make your skin perfect. It is available in 29 shades to suit suitable undertones. Okay, so those are all of the claims, and what I noticed right off the bat 
from using this foundation is that the pump size on this is very small. So this truly is one of those foundations that less is more. Let me give you a swatch because this is quite creamy. It is dreamy, but it does have kind of a thicker consistency that's more similar to higher coverage foundations. But the beauty of this one, I want to show you, it has sort of a thick serum texture. And this is the shade 2C, which is soft beige. And that's going to have a cool undertone. So I did try out and swatch 1C, which was actually quite a little bit more yellow, very pale. So that wasn't correct. And then I tried the um, too warm one as well and that one was just a little bit too warm for my skin type so this one may look a little peachy on my hand but you will see once I put this on my face it is going to kind of blend seamlessly so I am going to dot some of this on the skin and honestly you need to kind of work quickly with this foundation because it is going to kind of dry down on the skin. Okay, so that is about a pump and a half. I went ahead and put a little bit more on my hand to buff it into my skin since I had already given you a swatch. And this is very like a thicker serum. So it glides on your skin like butter. You can build it up fuller coverage. I tend to like to keep it about at this level, I would say this is a medium level of coverage because it lets my skin shine through. And because I have more mature skin, I always feel like less is more on my aging skin. But what I will tell you is that this just wears gorgeously throughout the day. So I like the way that it looks right now, but once I apply the rest of my makeup, um, this is one of those foundations that just literally is going to mesh with your skin and it just looks so pretty kind of more at the end of the day. I just find that um, my skin looks luminous but it doesn't look shiny and it just sort of gives this nice blurring effect on the skin. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on a little bit of bronzer and blush kind of finish off my face. I think we will top it with a little bit of powder. I'm going to be using the Sicily powder. This is the Fido Pudra Compact Pressed Powder. I'm just going to use a light amount of this because I want you to be able to see the foundation kind of in its true form, but most people do set their makeup myself included. So we're going to be doing that and I will go lighter hand on it so you can see how this wears throughout the day.
bit of bronzer and blush. I had already used the Sicily Botanical Concealer. Love that one in shade one. So just all Sicily makeup. I will list everything below down in the description box. But let's get back to this review. And what I thought I would do is do a couple check-ins to show you how this wears. But so far, what I'm going to tell you is that this feels very creamy and hydrating despite it saying that it is a matte foundation. I will say that the consistency does feel a little serum slash thicker lotion and that you kind of need to work quickly with this foundation. I used a brush today but it says that you can use this with your fingertips, which I tend to like because it sort of smooshes in the foundation. I feel like that always looks the most natural. A brush, like you're gonna kind of buff it into the skin, and a beauty blender. And I do really enjoy using a beauty blender, but I do find that that shears it out the most. So I like that, but if you're purchasing this $125 foundation because it has medium to full coverage, I feel like you might as well use your fingertips or the brush for the most coverage, if that makes sense. I do feel like the Beauty Blender shears it out um, a little bit too much for the purposes of this foundation. Now, as far as the three claims, I want to address those here. Um, the first one says that it hydrates your skin immediately and intensely. I will tell you my skin does feel hydrated. This does not feel drying on the skin. I do feel like if I was to put several different pumps on here, it may look a bit more makeup -y, but again it even recommends start with one pump and then slowly build so that's what i would tell you it says it smooths the texture of your skin and i do find that it does that that's what i'm saying is this wears beautifully throughout the day and i'll be doing a check-in for you but i do feel like this is smoothing out the texture on my skin making it nice and smooth so so I do believe that one and then it says it illuminates your complexion and so what I was thrilled about is I do feel like I'm getting a nice radiant glow here this again is not a flat matte foundation I feel like those are a thing of the past I feel like all um, cosmetic companies are coming out with these luminous matte foundations that are still very hydrating which I really do like so I feel like this is going to be great for my skin type which is more dry and mature as well as combination skin and oily I feel like if you have super dry skin you won't even need to use powder with this one. Um, for anybody oily, of course, you're automatically going to powder, so that works. And this does feel like it includes like nourishing skincare in this product, so that's what I would say. Doesn't feel like makeup on the skin, is not heavy, especially with more full coverage foundations. That's when I feel like it looks a little bit more makeup-y but also feels heavy on the skin. This does not feel like that at all. So one caveat, little goes a long way with this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go about my day. I am going to go take the dogs on a walk and it is a little bit rainy and misty out. So a little bit more humid, rainy weather. So we'll see how that wears um, as well as do some work calls and such like that. So I'll do a couple different check-ins and show you how this wears throughout the day. Okay, I am back and I have been wearing this foundation for four and a half hours. So I thought I would do a little quick check-in and I'm bringing you in close so I don't want to scare you too much, but this is what it looks like after four and a half hours here. 
And one thing I want to point out is I've got a little dry patch right here, um, which is, I don't know exactly what this is. I've been to a dermatologist, but it's always like a little area that if I'm wearing a foundation that is super drying, this little spot right here is going to cling on to the foundation. And so far what I'm seeing is, is you can kind of see a little bit of makeup on here. But what I'm saying is if it's a dry foundation, you'll literally see like a flaky skin or flaky makeup right on this little spot right here. So wanted to show you that. Always fun to show everybody all your <laughs> imperfections. Um, but otherwise, I feel like this is wearing really nicely. Um, I feel like it's letting my skin shine through. So I do feel like it is giving that luminous matte finish. So that's what I would say. And again, my skin feels hydrated. It feels plump. It's not feeling dry or anything like that. And what I like about this foundation is that it just sort of meshes in, if that makes sense. Like it's not having wear and tear. It just sort of I don't, I'm not saying it absorbs the makeup, but it just sort of looks like my skin. It's not like, oh my gosh, she's wearing like fresh, full face of makeup. And I'm also noticing that that blush combo is holding up quite well. I haven't used that in such a long time. It's such a beautiful product. It is this one, which is a mix of blushes along with highlighter. It's just a really beautiful blush. I have this one and I have the pink one and I was like why am I not using those they are so pretty and this is the coral one and I just really like that for today's makeup okay I'm gonna go eat lunch I'm going to go about my day and I will do one more check-in at the end of the day so we can see how this foundation okay I am back doing my last check-in and giving you my rundown on this foundation. So I have now had this on for almost 10 hours. I'm gonna bring you in close, kind of let you examine the wear and tear on this foundation, how it wore all day. And this is what it looks like at the end of the day. So I personally like the way that it looks right about now, but that's because I'm getting a little bit of shine and kind of luminosity on the skin. And that is sort of what I prefer in a foundation. Um, it is not oily is what I would say. This is just a little bit of kind of natural wear and tear. Again, I have been outside in the elements. Um, got a little bit of misty rain on my face here, but this is a very long lasting foundation. I do not feel like the foundation was eaten up. Um, if you know what I mean, there's certain foundations where I feel like I don't even have them at the end of the day because my skin just sort of absorbed them. I definitely feel like I still have some really nice coverage with this foundation and overall I do think it lives up to its claims. I like the fact that this is more of a luminous matte for myself. I do think that if somebody is looking for a traditional matte foundation I think they might find this to be a little bit almost too glowy. Um, maybe they're wanting something just a little bit more velvety. I feel like this has a little bit more of that luminosity to it. Now again, I have more mature skin. I have dry skin. So it's going to wear differently on everyone. And I will say, I think a little goes a long way. So although this is $125, I feel like you just don't have to use that much to cover your entire face. I love the Clay de Peau Radiant Matte Foundation, and that one actually has more coverage than this one. So if you are looking for a little bit more high coverage, 
I would actually tell you to go look at the clay to Poe radiant matte because I feel like that's going to be that true more high coverage. I love to wear that one when I really want a flawless finish. Like it really does give me a perfected look. To me this kind of falls in the camp of more of an everyday foundation which I really like. I like to think of foundations kind of have a wardrobe of foundations and I'm a fan of the Fido Hydra Tint as well as the Fido Tint Nude. These are two very sheer kind of easy going foundations. These are going to be uh, maybe you would want to call them like weekend knock around kind of foundations or foundations for people that do not like wearing foundations. These are going to be that kind of pick and then this is going to be like a step up. <laughs> um, definitely can be every day. It's not like a special occasion foundation and it does feel very hydrating on the skin. It does not feel drying. Um, it doesn't feel cakey or anything like that. So I do think this lives up to the claims so far. I'm really enjoying it, but again, I'm a fan of the Sisley brand. I like their foundations. I'm so glad that they expanded the shade range. That would be the one thing um, in some of these. They had such limited shades that it, you know, just wasn't going to be great for everybody. But if you are like myself, you have dry, mature skin, you're looking for something that's more of a hybrid with a little bit more of that velvety matte finish, but still have some luminosity to your skin, I think you're going to like this Fido Tint Perfection from Sicily. As far as the shade range, I would recommend going to the counter if you can. I found that these ran just a little bit lighter, which makes sense because they expanded the shade range down to like a zero zero and all the way up to a deep, beautiful espresso shade. So this one's definitely going to have some more choices for everyone, which is fantastic. Um, but yes, this is still $125. And I wanted to show you that this is the shade 1C Petal. And then this is 2C Soft Beige here. And what I would tell you is that the 1C, when I swatched it at the counter, was definitely lighter, like definitely lighter than this 1C petal, which tends to be like perfect for my skin tone. But that is also a very sheer foundation. You can get away with several different shades. That's probably why I like sheer foundations too. You do not have to be exact. But so far, I think that the 2C completely works on my skin. At first, I was a little worried that it was running a little too peachy, but as you can see, it's working absolutely fine. So in conclusion, I really am enjoying this foundation. Um, am I going to tell everybody to rush out and get this one? That's going to be truly up to you. I do feel like Sicily fans, if you're a fan of Sicily makeup and foundations, I would say this is one to definitely try out. Um, but is there other foundations that are less expensive that are just as beautiful? Of course, um, I was just asked if I would review this, so hopefully this either helped you decide you want to purchase it or decide you're going to pass. So, so that is my job to do reviews for you so you can either spend your money wisely or save money. So, so let me know your thoughts so far on this foundation. I always love to hear from you and I'm wishing everyone a very happy weekend ahead.